This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with What Does Control X Do? And I have three highlights for you. First off, Control X is the cut shortcut, and you can't talk about the cut shortcut with also talking about the paste shortcut. So we're gonna cut an object from our document and we're gonna paste it somewhere else. On top of that, you can think of the cut shortcut as two actions in one. It's the same as one, copying a piece of content, and then two, deleting it from your document that will then paste somewhere else. And this works a little bit differently when you're cutting cells or ranges of Excels in Microsoft Excel, but I'll give you a demo of that in just a second. The second highlight, I like to use the cut shortcut to delete hard to delete objects. For example, tables in Microsoft Word, the delete key does not delete a table, it only deletes the contents of your table and it's backspace that actually deletes your table. So when I'm dealing with tables in Microsoft Word, which it's hard to remember which one is which, I often will just use Control X to cut the table out of my document and I simply won't paste it anywhere else. The third highlight is the cut shortcut works with the Microsoft Office clipboard. So once you turn the Microsoft clipboard on, we can cut and or copy up to 24 different items that will be labeled from Word. This is the uh, Google Explorer, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. So up to 24 items that we can cut or copy from different documents that we can then dump into a single place. And I'll show you an example of this in just a second. But first off, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there's to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. Let's first talk about the classic cut shortcut. So control X for cut and we can cut just about anything that's on your computer. Here in PowerPoint, let's say that I have a chart on this slide that I don't want on this slide. I will actually want it here on my second slide. Instead of copying, deleting, and pasting this chart, I'll simply select the chart, hit Control X to cut. The chart is removed from my document or from the slide. I'll click to my second slide, Control V to paste, and I'm good to go. Also notice the Control Paste Options button popped open. If you wanna see how to use this to jumpstart your formatting, check out my other video, What Does Control V Do, here on YouTube. In the same way, if I wanna take an entire slide out of this presentation, I'll Control X to cut it. You can see the slide disappears. I'll navigate to another PowerPoint presentation. Here in my second PowerPoint presentation, I'll just click into the thumbnail view, Control V to paste. Notice it tries to adhere to this PowerPoint template, but if I just open up my Control Paste options, I'm gonna paste and keep my source formatting, which is gonna bring my entire slide master into this new presentation. One special note about the cut shortcut here in Excel, if I select a range and Control X to cut it, it looks like I'm just copying that range of cells. If I click and then Control V to paste, notice that the range of cells does move. This is different than objects in Excel, which operate much more like PowerPoint, where if I Control X to cut it, the chart actually is removed, versus if I just click a range of cells and Control X to cut it, it does not immediately get rid of that range of cells. Instead, it wants me to Control V to paste it somewhere else. So what does Control X do? At this most basic level, it's your keyboard shortcut to rearrange things within your Microsoft Office document. Next, let's talk about Control X as a super fast delete key for hard to delete content like tables in Microsoft Word. Here in Microsoft Word, I have a table. You can see the table design tab up in my ribbon. Now, if you didn't already know this, the delete and backspace keys do different things with the table here in Microsoft Word. If I select my table and simply hit the delete key, notice that all of the content is removed from my table, but the table itself is actually not deleted. In the same way, if I select a column or two columns and hit delete, only the content from those columns is actually deleted. The actual columns remain where they are. As I often can't remember delete versus backspace, I'll simply select this hard to delete object here in Word and hit Control X to cut it, and I simply won't paste it anywhere else. In the same way, if I wanted to get rid of this picture and instead of reaching from my mouse to hit the delete or backspace key, I can simply Control X with my left hand and simply not paste it somewhere else. Just because we cut an object from our document doesn't mean we actually have to paste it somewhere else. That's how you can use Control X as a super fast delete key in the Microsoft Office suite. And finally, let's talk about using the cut shortcut with the Microsoft Office clipboard, which will allow us to cut or copy up to 24 items at once. So the use case here is when you have a lot of content that you wanna collect between PowerPoint, Excel, Word, OneNote, or other programs on your computer, once you open up the clipboard, you can cut or copy up to 24 items to it that we can then dump somewhere else. Let me just show you how this works. As I come in here to PowerPoint, if you come out to the Home tab, to open the clipboard, simply click the diagonal downward facing arrow. 
Once we've done that, you can see I already have an item here. As I come into my document and control X to cut, notice the PowerPoint logo shows up on my clipboard and is removed from my document. I'm gonna control X to cut the Excel document. You can see I start to get a tally down here in the lower right hand corner. I can control X to cut these, I can cut these. As I cut more and more things, I can even cut the ink from my slide that I can later just click to paste back in. Now in Microsoft Excel, this works a little bit differently. I'm gonna, again, from the Home tab, open up the clipboard so you can see this. As long as here in Excel we're cutting objects like a chart, Control X to cut, it's gonna be added to our clipboard. Ranges of Excel, if I Control X to cut it, the cells will be added to my clipboard, but just like I was showing you previously, the cells or the range is not immediately deleted. So I'm just gonna come down and Control V to paste it in. But again, as long as we're dealing with stuff like this, Control X to cut, it's gonna immediately be removed from our document, added to our clipboard, and we'll see a little countdown of how many items we have in the lower right-hand corner. My one tip for you when using the Microsoft Office Clipboard is that when you're done, you'll need to set it to stop collecting. Otherwise, Microsoft will continue to collect items on your clipboard. And let me just show you how this works. So here in PowerPoint, you can see my clipboard that I have loaded up. Even if I close out of my clipboard, notice if I come in Control X or Control C to copy something, that item is still added to my clipboard. As this can be annoying if you don't want it to continue collecting, what you'll need to do is come and find your task pane. I hit the Windows key to open up my hidden taskbar down here. You'll need to come and find your task pane. You're going to come and find the clipboard, right click it, and simply select Stop Collecting. Once you click stop collecting, if I control X to cut this content, it's removed from my document, but I do not see that little item here in the lower right-hand corner of my screen. So as a quick recap, what does control X do? Control X is the cut shortcut for removing or rearranging things in our documents. Control X is a super fast delete key for hard to delete objects like tables in Microsoft Word. And control X feeds the Microsoft Office clipboard once you turn it on. If you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with my latest PowerPoint hack trickery, so PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour like PDF cheat sheets and shortcuts, look for the links directly below in the description box. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.